I'm repairing a, a Bosch alternator on a 2010 C300 C class. Now, this thing was on the alternator like this. Here. Mm -hmm. It's got this bolt right here. And the bolt that goes here. And there's another bolt that goes right here. And there's a screw. There's another bolt that goes right here. And there's a screw right here. You just pull it off. And you have access right here. Then after that, you would see this thing, the voltage regulator. This was on here too. The voltage regulator. You, you can buy this for like 60 bucks if this was fucked up. But this ain't fucked up on this one. The, the what was fucked up was the uh, bearing, and you can see it right here. I took it out. The thing was fucked up, and uh, the bearing is actually a, a six zero zero three, and it's NTB, I guess. So don't forget it's 603. So anyway, remove this. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. The alternator has these things sticking through it, these wires. There's wires right here, wires right here, wires right here. And they stick through. You gotta put them back through these things right here. If you don't put them back through, then it won't work right. See? That shit right here, here. Okay. And it has these bolts or four bolts. One, two, three. That's how you pull it apart. Four bolts. One. Here. 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 But I already repaired the uh you can take this off. I already repaired this already. I'm just trying to show you guys how to repair it. So you don't have to spend. Three hundred fucking dollars on a fucking alternator when you can just fucking repair this one, you know. And that's what they take them and do with them anyway. They take take the other one. Notice they always want the core. They're like, oh, give us the core. Nah, I think I'll just fucking repair it myself and save the core. Anyway, let me open it up real quick. Show you guys. See, you gotta pry it open right here. Let's just pry it right here. Put it over. And then we're gonna pry it right there. You know what? If you pry this part right here, you see what I did was I think I pried this in here, and this coil came off, which had took these things out, these these little things. So you won't have to worry about these if you just pry this part open. 
middle. Don't pry this off. The coil thing should come off with it. This coil that's in here, that shit should come off with this. That way you don't have to put these back in like I did. That's a mistake I probably made. Don't worry, it's coming apart. All right, see? Yeah, it comes apart right here. If you look, see the fucking coil thing is in here. See, if I would have took that, if I wouldn't have pried this part off with this, if, this part would have been down here. Just this coil thing right here, and that would have made it fucked up for you guys. So. See the coil, these things are on there, so all right, good. Uh, but this is the bearing that I replaced. See, if you look at it right here, and uh, I took this thing, I think you can get it as a puller at AutoZone. I just put it on right here. See, I just put this right here. this right here see it goes right here and then I just basically you get the drift that just tighten this and it'll just pull up on this and pull the whole fucking thing off all right let, let me get this off because I'm not trying to pull this off all right and the way I got it back down in there to compress it is I got one of these long sockets what the fuck is it? Okay, yeah. I got one of these long sockets right here. And I was, I took a fucking hammer and I was hitting it like this so it'll go down. But you see where the socket's at? It's in the middle of this right here. It's in the middle of that hub thing in the bearing. Because you don't want to beat on the outer what plastic right here because it'll just fuck it up because as you can see right on the old one the bearings are inside that plastic fucking thing right here so you don't wanna, you don't want to beat that but you can beat in the middle right here with this and it'll go down on there Anyway, I guess that's it. I'll put it back together. You should know how to put it back together. And it should work. And if you need a voltage regulator, most of the time is just a, they, they just sell these voltage regulators right here. They just sell them on uh, eBay. They're like 60 bucks. Because this is the part that actually gets fucked up. Because see, it, it touches this. And it generates the electricity. Such a distant one here. Yeah. But uh, hey, if you like my channel, subscribe.